Paramount. We lost Superman to Warner. We lost Marvel to Disney. We even lost Popeye. Who knows what comic we'll lose next? Up in the sky. Look. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Uh, I was really hoping it was a bird. Superman in Technicolor and presented in a 4x3 format to preserve the integrity of Dave Fleischer's creative vision. Superman has an arrangement with Action Comics. He can cheat on them, but only for an animated short that Action Comics can later buy and forget to renew the copyright on. Hey, Apple released the new Ice Barber. Well, so far, Sammy Timberg's the MVP of this short. I guess I have to like this short because of Dave's solidarity. Ooh, classic Harp Glissando. Spontaneation flashback. In the endless reaches of the universe. Oh, damn, just another Land Before Time sequel. Krypton, a planet that burned like a green star in the... Wait, Krypton's the green planet? There Somebody save Botanicus! Advanced, and it brought forth a race of supermen whose mental and physical powers were developed to the absolute peak of human perfection. They developed the power to later retcon that explanation into some nonsense involving sun color. One of the planet's leading scientists, sensing the approach of doom, placed his infant son in a small rocket ship and sent it hurtling in the direction of the Earth. Pretty sure that's the general direction of Earth. Good luck, kid. Ugh, we let E.T. and Steven down. They were counting on us. The rocket ship sped through star-studded space, landing safely on Earth with its precious burden, Krypton's sole survivor. A passing motorist found the uninjured child and took it to an orphanage. <laughs> Can't kill Jonathan Kent if you just don't have Jonathan Kent. He found himself possessed of amazing physical powers. Faster than a speeding bullet. Take that, Sky! More powerful than a locomotive. But not as powerful as a boat stuck in a canal. Tall buildings at a single bound. Uh, until the animators the thought, that looks silly, let's just make him fly. Superman. Drink it all in, folks. This is me. To use his amazing powers in a never-ending battle for truth and justice, Superman has assumed the disguise of Clark Kent, mild-mannered reporter for a great metropolitan newspaper. Meanwhile, at great metropolitan newspaper... Oh, there you are, Perry White. I want to see you. Just received another threatening note. Okay, Mr. White. Lois, another note from the mad scientist. Coming in, Chief. Oh, he doesn't mind if she calls him Chief. Well, listen to this warning. He's already Plans stolen the animator's desire to sink lips. Beware, you fools. Do you think he means My us? Asia Ray strikes tonight at 12. Total destruction will come to those who laughed at me and failed to heed my warning. But if you only did one of those, you're safe. I strike at midnight. This nut may prove dangerous. <laughs> well, let's not jump to conclusions. Yes, you help Lois follow up her lead. She may have an angle on this thing. Yes, sir. But, Chief, I'd like the chance to crack the story on my own. I don't want to work with this douche nozzle. No offense, Clark. Oh, thanks, Chief. But Lois. <laughs> but Lois. What are you, Shatner man? Don't you think that's a dangerous mission? I guess we'll never know. Meanwhile, in the animated adventures of Amelia Earhart, Fearless Flyer, she's barely checking the plane at all. Bicycle safety lied to me. Look, up in the sky! It's still not a bird, Debbie. Later that night, in the tallest building on Seuss Landing, Dr. Claw's grandfather stared at the clock for a while. Oh, he's pet sitting for Snow White's stepmother. The hour has come. Fermi spinach. Ah, gah, 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 gah. Time to fire up the old Interocitor, convene with Exeter and Brack. Sound designed by an electric football game. Uh, I like the bubbles. An invisible giant with night vision! Oh, come on, I just let you out. I'm getting a pet door. Oh, why didn't I make sure this place had a landing strip before I left? An intruder must daintily tiptoe down the stairs. So the mad scientist lab is in Dracula's tower from King's Quest 2? All right, door, now cough. <laughs> no pet door, just a pet lock. Oh, I'm by a hydrant. Gotta finish this delivery before I get towed.
The best security systems are two-man operations. I'm a reporter for the... Can't you see what I'm trying to tell you? I love you. Better be careful and lock up. There are bad guys out there. Action Comics was like, fine, you can give Superman the power of flight, but you'll have to take it away from someone else. So, you want the story? I'll give you the greatest story of destruction the world has ever known. It's called What Jack Mercer is Doing to His Vocal Cords. <laughs> now to send the orange juice through the pipes to the static electricity gun. Damn it, O'Hara, why did you aim the bat signal at the ground? Yay, he made the traffic disappear! How is that for a story, Miss Lane? <laughs> yeah, I gotta be honest, it kinda lost me. No real structure to speak of. True to his threat, the mad scientist, whose warnings have held the city in a grip of terror, went on his rampage of destruction on the stroke of midnight. Hey, fellas, is this another Orson Welles hoax? Smashed the famous Tower Bridge, hurling cars and... <laughs> These guys coming out of a clown car? The police have warned everyone to remain in their homes. This looks like a job for Superman. I mean, sure, maybe Superman could have intervened before people died on the bridge, especially if Lois knew where the mad scientist lived the whole time. But now that I've waited for the last possible second to tiptoe into the stockroom and change into Superman, I can finally tiptoe even more slowly to the window and save the day way too late for anyone. And here we have an iconic moment, the first time Superman ever flew, forever changing the shape of pop culture, ultimately making 1978 even more embarrassing for the makers of the cat from outer space. In the 40s, he had to use a dial to browse Zillow. Ooh, this is one precarious game of Jenga. I gotta change my visor! Ah, oh, why'd I transfer to the loose wooden beams department of Great Metropolitan Newspaper? He flew all the way to Toontown. Whew, I was almost late for the trust fall. Nobody thinks they'll need a skyscraper chiropractor, but then... Up, up, and down! Nah, you were better leaning the other way. The building changes color when it's straightened. I'm sure it'll be fine just balanced there without its foundation. Seems like a long way to go just to work on your tan. That's why they retcon the yellow sun stuff. A film climaxing with a superhero fighting a sky beam? It'll never catch on. It's Superman! Ah, crap! Why did I forget he lives in Metropolis? Better ramp up the factory mechanics, the steampunk piping, the industrial lava lamps, and the juice tubing in order to get the laser going really hard. Yeah! Ah, my one weak spot, my back! And a gentle dismount. Ha! You may have almost defeated me through a cape and another layer of clothing, but now that I have my bare fists, I'll punch your laser to death! I don't believe it! He isn't human! Yeah, you'd think the flying would have tipped you off. This is what it looks like trying to get the prank snake back in the can. Oh, he pulled the Dragon Ball meme lever. Krypton was developed to the absolute peak of balloon animal technique perfection. Can't get enough super golden crisp. That might be too deep a cut even for me. Oh God, don't pop that pimple. Gross. Now to support myself in these wall. Oh, come on. Oh, is this that Lil Nas X video where he goes to hell? I'm still in this one! Honestly, kind of an underreaction to it raining fire. Nobody move, I dropped a contact somewhere. Boy, Lois, I bet you wouldn't have gotten into this mess if you let that dashing young Kent fella join ya. I guess nobody wants to fly when these fun stairs are an option. Now, did everyone use the bathroom before we left? Aha, it's the background artist's time to shine. Get 
spit on the floor, then wait your own turn to walk the dinosaur. Ah, that's the face of a man who's expecting the camera to iris out on him. At least he gets a souvenir photo. Congratulations, Lois. That was a great scoop. Yes, Chief. Thanks to Superman. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sitting on the wrong side of my desk because I'm a scamp. Superman will return in Revenge of the Really Cartoony Bird Sidekick that totally got away. Paramount, our streaming service is so far not any less successful than our theme parks were. Up in the sky, look! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Hey, no fair guessing after he leaves his name in the sky in giant letters. Oh yeah, it's a Max Fleischer cartoon. Just ignore the younger brother doing the directing here. The uh, mechanical monsters, or as I like to call it, an orgy at Elon Musk's house. Ah, we got a wonderful show for you tonight. Joan Rivers is here. Have you been injured by a mechanical monster? Call the law offices of Mufati and Germanetti. You may be entitled to animation. No, no, it's my older brother's cartoon. I just directed it, that's all. Faster than a speeding bullet. This exposition, I mean. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. Would have been easier to walk around it, but he's a show off. Krypton, the man of steel. Superman. Empowered with X-ray vision. We forgot to mention that last time. Physical strength. Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. This is my mild-mannered pose. Uh-oh, Falcon's gone rogue. He really isn't ready to be Captain America. Hey, buddy, your safety deposit box is beeping. Open the Fantasyland Castle in the name of the mechanical monsters of the world! Hey, Vincent Half Price. And a hungover Captain Lightyear returns home at 6 a.m. No wonder they call him Buzz. Hey, it's Five, my favorite obscure Peanuts character. That's a real deep cut even for me. Now, I'm no electrician, but I'm sure having those sparks fly wildly is perfectly safe. Yes, with this horde of Chuck E. Cheese prize tickets, we'll be able to upgrade to the medium-sized plushie. Yeah, I can see why this thing prefers to fly rather than walk. Not the most organized storage system for your mechanical monsters. Extra, get your exposition here! House of Jewels? Oh boy, I bet they'll have all the albums. Pieces of You, the rest. Extreme precautions, so all the security staff will be on skateboards drinking Red Bull. Hurry guys, hide in the exhibit before we get frozen in place like these other people. Here's Julesy. Ooh, the sparkle animator's really working overtime. Is it about to turn into the beautiful girl sequence from Singing in the Rain? Oh, I hope no one makes fun of my floppy hat. Lois, what are you doing? <laughs> He's so angry, they just hate each other. Halt right there, no woman's angle on this story! Out. Okay, that one's gotta be a bird, right? Just go home, Debbie. I am the dread pirate Wobbots. How, ah, once again, our old friend robot number five, or er, number 13. I just remember these are blanks! It ain't a Superman movie without forced Jesus imagery. Oh, five again. I guess 13 was the stunt robot. Come on, you fool! You wanna get trampled? Well, maybe I do, Lois. Don't kink shame me. God, what are you doing here? Hey, take all you want, but eat all you take. 
Now you wait here. I'll phone this in. <laughs> yeah, stay out in the open air where it's safe. Chief, Lois showed up and I got mad at her. Make her go home. That is one sloppy thief bot. Well, this is the biggest apartment I can afford in Metropolis. Yes, I'll give you the details later, Chief. All right, Lois. Let Lois! What are you doing not here? This is a job for Superman. And another iconic moment, the first time Superman ever changed in a phone booth. Which means, technically, that aspect of the Superman lore is in the public domain. You know, just in time for it to be completely irrelevant as phone booths stop existing. 13 again. I give up. Yeah, demon! The power of kryptonite compels you! Oh, she's just in Scrooge McDuck's hot tub. All right, Lois, this'll show you for doing things here. Walt Disney tests the first audio animatronic. Yeah, great failsafe system. Faster than a speeding boulder! No, he killed the birds from that one Pixar short! Boy, she has remarkable upper body strength. Ah, my reused animation is coming in handy. Liquid Lois Lane. What a story this is going to make. And that douchebag Clark asked what I was doing here. The jewels. Ah, what Salvador Dali. With the jewels. You'll read about it in tomorrow's paper. Are you going to tell me what happened to those jewels? I told you in tomorrow's paper. Actual footage of me untangling my earbuds. That sparkling earlier took a lot out of them, so they're just going to let the background shine for a bit. Oh, it's nice that his hideout had a portal to hell. Man, the scale of the Calico Mine Train ride really is impressive. Oh, I see motion. We must be almost at the plot now. Next, we pan across the mad scientist's table of Warhammer figurines, his model train kit, and a set of dishware from his grandma that he has no use for but doesn't have the heart to get rid of. All right, Miss Lane, fondue's almost ready. So you won't tell me. I told you, tomorrow's paper. We gotta sell somehow. You'll soon change your mind. I feel like there was a less cumbersome way to torture the information out of her. If that's my DoorDash, it's 20 minutes late. Pardon me, gents. Know where I can find a robot kind of like you, but with a woman inside? Superman. Crap, that other mad scientist warned me he lived around here, but I didn't listen. Why didn't you store them in numerical order? I'll just wait patiently for them all to go online. And now the Robo Rockets! Yeah, whatever. What? Oh, they're still over here, too? Lucky jerk still gets to experience the backdraft attraction. Bird baby burn, Crypto Inferno! Six hours later, Lois continues the slow inch towards her gradual doom. Does the pounding with fists make much difference after the fire? Try the Mechanical Monsters home game! All you have to do is take your Rock'em Sock'em robots and set them on fire! Yeah, I knew I shouldn't have sat in the splash zone. And these evil robots have just enough Kryptonian strength to pad out the short to its entire length. Fine, I'll just move to the medieval castle wing. Miss Lane, while you're waiting, do you want to see some shadow puppets? No, the wood didn't stop him. Take one more step and she's doomed. But what is she doing here? Oh, right, I forgot about your super speed. Well, I was hoping to do this without making a mess, but... So the... 
Lava Proof Cape wasn't worthy of mentioning in the intro, even though it's much more plot relevant than the X-ray vision. Well, I failed. Goodbye, crew world. Damn it, you won't let me have this one thing. He's taking them to the playmat on the floor of a church nursery. Millions in jewels recovered after they dug them out of that tangle of telephone wires they fell near. Did they really need a full second front page column about Superman vanishing? That's a wonderful story, Lord. I'm sorry I was mad at you for showing up. But I owe it all to Superman. Damn straight you do. Superman will return in Superman versus the Mitchells versus the Mechanical Monsters. Paramount. Now that name applies to all of Viacom. There's no escape from this mountain. Up in the sky. Look. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. And oh God, he's promoting his new NFT. Everybody run for the hills. Superman in Technicolor? That's a weird name for a Superman short. Ooh, Bajillion Dollar Limited, my favorite CISO show. Ah, Mr. Toad just got run over. This is based on the Superman comic strip, not the comic books. This falls into the Superman newspaper continuity, so keep that in mind. It's going to come in very important. Son of Jor-El, knee tell before Zod! Ooh, Timberg putting some extra flair on it this time. Faster than a speeding bullet. Come on, everyone. We can pad out 30 more seconds without having to animate anything new. Leave tall buildings at a single bound. This amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman. Wait, sorry. This is just the statue of Superman in the Looney Tunes Superstore at Magic Mountain. Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. While the real Clark Kent is locked in his basement. It's the largest single shipment of gold ever attempted by Lois Lane. By other reporters, all bets are off. I got my eye on you, newspaper. One false move, I start shooting. This is embarrassing. We all wore the same thing. You know, some orders might be a bit too big for Instacart. Six miles away at the front of the train. Sorry, I can't go with you, Lois, but I have another story to cover. Oh, that's all right, Carl. Frankly, I'm annoyed that you even came to see me off. Now it's my turn to ask, what are you doing here? Okay, I'm lost. Apple Maps is worthless. Those bastards, they're gonna high beam Metropolis to death. Damn it, Steve, you couldn't put the mask on before we left. And once again, the entire Billy Zane Cosplay Club chose the Phantom. Evac's grandfather is on the scene. Gold for the merchandise. Gold for the button hooks. Goodbye, Clark. Get to that other story, Clark. Well, at least that wasn't suspicious. The train's going so fast it's changing the rotation of the Earth. Yeah, I always think I'm going to get work done on my commute, too. After a fill-up at Goofy's Gas, they leave Toontown and continue their heist. So the car is also more powerful than a locomotive. So much for Superman being special. There's got to be an easier way to get to Times Square. Runaway train never going back. You bastards, I left my iPad in that car! Hey, does the train feel lighter to you? Ooh, top secret is starting. Sure wish we had some marshmallows to roast, Bill. A young Doc Brown watches, seething with jealousy. I just remembered I'm out of ink! Guns don't kill people, doors kill people. Damn it, let me merge, my exit's coming up! Well, I can fly a plane, so stopping a train is pretty low stakes for me. Oh, the car's crying. He hates these clocks! Ah, I'll throw this at them. I just miss Raid Hater Springs so much. Lois and Glock. 
Hey, bada 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 hey, bada 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 swing, bada bada say. Anyway, now to practice my rhythm exercises. Seth Green's hacking the traffic lights again. I gotta lower this bridge, no matter which chili pepper is under it. Wee! Drink more Ovaltine. And the script finally arrives at the Paramount offices. I mean, it's still on the track, so how wild can it really run? This looks like a job for Superman. I probably should have monitored the situation once I almost got run over by a car chasing the train, but I had another story to cover. And as soon as I'm done covering that other story, I'll try to keep an eye out for the train. We are definitely driving in circles. Ugh, I told you to go before we left. I know we're mid-heist, but I just gotta loosen some valves. Ooh, you gotta pay extra if you want to ride in the special explosives car. Hmm, maybe this train will lead me to the one that's running wild. No matter, I'll just move the explosives out of the way. Or I'll bend the actual tracks that the train is actively on. That has way more margin for error. Superman. I thought this operation was too petty to draw his attention. We should have scheduled this while one of those mad scientists was distracting him. Yeah, the leaping's less impressive when we already saw you fly. Okay, so they're not trying to steal the gold for themselves. They just want to destroy it? Just commit some mild economic terrorism? Hold on, a Superman who actually prevents wanton destruction? That seems out of character. That is one heavy kite tail. Kryptonians have super precise track placement abilities. Pardon me, do you have any gray poupon? Screw it, I'm out of ideas. Nerf missile! No, my one Kryptonian weakness! Things slowly ducking into holes! This is why I suck at whack-a-mole. Who knew train engines were so melty? And now they go backward into Everest, but the bad guys already broke the Yeti. Unfortunately, Superman's strength is inversely proportional to how much tension the scene needs. I think I can of steel. I think I can of steel. Ooh, this is my favorite Price is Right game. Meow, 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 meow. This is what it feels like walking through Ghost Town during Scary Farm. Ugh, I wanted to save the box for later, but fine. Come on, guys, that's not fair. I have super asthma. <coughs> Fortunately, he trained for this, trying to keep Crypto from chasing squirrels. Now his super dainty tiptoeing will save the day. Okay, the tear gas only helped a little. Let's raise the stakes to the weapon that famously has no effect on him. Did he just straight up run over those dudes? And due to this efficiency, all train engines were decommissioned and Superman had to personally pull every train forever. Oh, the government mint gets its own train station, but if I want to take a train, I need to find the bus route to Fullerton. And he quickly flees before having to talk to anyone. Relatable. Hooray, he saved the gold, and now the wealth can continue to not trickle down to the citizens. Uncanny how Superman turns up just when you need him. I didn't even get a chance to thank him. Gosh, ain't I a stinker? Superman will return in the fallout from that other story Clark neglected to cover. Paramount, the reason studios aren't allowed to own theaters is named after us. Now check out our streaming service. Up in the sky, look! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Superman, Superman, does whatever a Superman can. Is he strong? Listen, bud. He's got super Kryptonian blood. Oh, the Arctic Giant. Brad Bird finally got a sequel. Jerry insisted on Jerome for clout, but Joseph was like, eh, just call me Joe. 
<sighs> I just don't know if it's going to be the same without Isidore Sparber. To this day, Superman denies that he ghost-directed these himself. He lets Fleischer keep the credit. Faster than a speeding bullet. Let's do this one last time. More powerful than a locomotive. But just barely, as we learned in the last short. Buildings at a single bound. This amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the Man of Steel. I prefer my men of aluminum. Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. Fighting for truth while disguised as an occupation half the country no longer trusts. Penetrating deep into the frozen wastes of the great Arctic plain. I'm the new narrator, by the way. Expedition searching for prehistoric fossils makes an amazing discovery. Martin Short appears to say this isn't what Canada's really like. Like in appearance is when it roamed the Earth millions of years ago in the Mesozoic age. Mesozoic, that's the Gungan pronunciation. The state of perfect preservation. Constantly handicapped by the hazardous sub-zero element. Oh no, they're gonna dig up LeChuck. Tireless workers succeed in removing the mammoth creature. Ooh, it's a mammoth? Is it voiced by Ray Romano? The case monster is loaded into the hold of a huge freighter equipped with a special refrigeration plant and brought to this country. Fredonia. Here in a specially constructed wing of the Museum of Natural Science. Oh neat, they invented the Omnimax dome. Displayed to the public for the first time. Anyway, that unrelated newsreel is done. Now on to the Superman cartoon. Yes, that most mammoth of creatures, the Tyrannosaurus. Reptar on ice looks different than I remember. Am I glad he's frozen in there and we're out here? Hey, when did Great Metropolitan Newspaper change its name? And you mean to say that if the ice were permitted to thaw, there's a possibility the monster might still be alive? Thank you, Professor. Yes, Chief. Lois, there's a new angle on that frozen monster story. A really silly angle. See what's doing. They've got him in a special refrigerator. Thank okay. you, Lois. Meanwhile, in the cartoon spin queue. Oh, Lois. Want me to go over there with you? No, thanks. You'd probably faint if you saw the monster. You scare so easily. You worthless piece of slime. Maybe she's right, but Superman hasn't fainted yet. Ah, uh, not that that has anything to do with me. I gotta remember not to think out loud. And produces the necessary refrigeration. The control board is downstairs. This is probably safe on the electric football shelf. The entire plant is operated from this board. Hey, it's dancing the oil can-can. The thermometer must be watched constantly. Which is why I'm not watching it while talking to you. Prove dangerous. Hug, of course, the one time I'm talking to a pretty girl. Turn off the bridge to prevent the bridge from breaking and turning itself off. Beaker is caught on that spinning wheel. Boy, what a story. An expose on incompetent scabs who haphazardly place equipment and destroy the whole operation. Drip, drip, drop, little April showers. Hey, before you thaw me, you should know that I ate Captain America. Ding, 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 jackpot! We have a winner! Yeah, Tony Baxter swears this effect used to work, but nobody's seen it in years. Outside, everybody. Step lively, please. I mean, step lively, Jeeves. That's my favorite extremely loose Wodehouse adaptation. Please, folks, keep moving. We have to clear this room at once. That's what he thinks. I'm going to take advantage of the short lines at the cafe. Unfrozen dino lawyer. Hey, what are these clothes that say property of Clark Kent doing on the floor here? Hello, Chief. Send the riot squad. We're in trouble. Crocodile dentist. Give me John Hammond. I got a wacky idea for an amusement park. That is one Windsor McKay-ass dinosaur. And now that the oil can has made him unstuck, he can sing If I Only Had a Heart. Give me the city desk. Hurry! Uh, better make it collect. Hey, it's the Hollywood Ripley's. Come on, dude, we specially constructed that wing for you. Look, up in the sky! Debbie, how could you possibly think that's a bird? The Toho Company is frantically taking notes. No, no, after you, I insist. The dinosaur does not support public transportation. It's important to know this going into the election. No, I'm not crazy. William Frawley? Christopher McDonald? Proceed to pick the men at once. Hey, who wrote on my fruit by the foot? Chief, 
Lois is in the museum. Better get over there, Kent. Right. Thank you, Clark. This looks like a job for Superman. Even though it feels weird to be fighting an animal instead of a mad scientist or train robber. Uh, ladies? Oh, no one's here. Yeah, being seen flying out of the newspaper building will really protect your reporter disguise. Oh, now you're just back to leaping? Did you guys hear something out here? Lois. I don't care about those other innocent bystanders, just Lois. You'd better get back to your office where you'll be safe. I've got some work to do. Yes, sir. And this is the best story in years? Lois, stop letting work control your life. Oh no, it's gonna awaken Megatron. This would be the best cartoon ever if the dinosaur had just gone down the dam like a water slide. Mr. T-Rex, tear down this wall. Sorry, Charlie, you did that voice better than me. Fortunately, the rock morphs to fit the shape of the hole, and the houses are only mostly damaged, with only 75% fatalities. Dudley is done politely asking you to floss. The bridge is a waterbed. This is why they had to redo the bridge at the entrance to DCA. <laughs> the cars are so impatient, they're not even waiting for him to get the bridge secure before they drive over it. Listen, I know baseball is boring, but do we really need the T-Rex here to liven things up? Oh, sure, when the T-Rex does property damage, he's a menace, but when Superman does it, he's a hero. Uh, no thanks, ma'am. I don't want to pay for the photo pass. No, to get to the ground, you slide down its back. Didn't Fred Flintstone teach you anything? But Superman, I'm into Vore. Now this time, stay put. Yes, my lord. Well, fine. See if I save you again. Ah, who am I kidding? I can't quit you. This is a very odd adaptation of Gulliver's Travels. Oh yeah, broke through a building, but it won't escape that ditch. You showed plenty of courage getting that monster story, Lois. Thanks, but where were you? Me? Oh, I must have fainted. He's just feigning that he fainted. Superman will return in the Blackfish-style documentary about the horrible way the zoo treats the dinosaur. Paramount, we're not even worth joking about now with all that crap Warner Brothers is pulling. Up in the sky, look! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! This crowd does this every week and it still takes them three tries to realize it's Superman. Oh yeah, this was that era when the Rocketeer became one of those Second Amendment weirdos. Action comics and Superman magazines in this economy? Graham Place is what I say when I forget the words Castle Daventry. I wonder if the crowd stuck around to read the credits. Faster than a speeding bullet. So he'll be faster than a bulleteer, too. That takes care of any stakes. Able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. Able to reuse animation in a single cut. The man of steel. Dang automation, putting the men of bronze out of work. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for... Never-ending? Superman's not going to see retirement? Maybe he is a millennial. I guess I should get back to that battle if it's, you know, never-ending. Sounds like Beauty and the Beast Live on stage is starting. The random nighttime building's playset comes with everything you see here. Hooray, the bulleteers say A cab. Were the cops storing 4th of July fireworks? Bullet Car is the direct to video spin off that couldn't get Brad Pitt. Send in Lois Lane and Clark Kent. And hire a third reporter someday. And they're already scowling at each other. Oh, wait, you're Clark Kent? I was thinking of someone cooler. 
Attention. Whoa, the answer is literally blowing in the wind. Today was only a small demonstration of our power. Why do they always put the most bored sounding guy on PA duty? Shh, Chernobog is sleeping. firehouses and all municipal buildings will be next. We want the money, Lebowski! This is your last warning. And they laughed when I built a retractable microphone into a desk. Wait, City Hall is literally just a big hallway? What are the authorities going to do about this, Mr. Mayor? Metropolis Mayor Hank Hill. ...by criminal threats. Law and order must and will prevail. Unless NBC cancels it again. Anyway, this guy instacarted 63 sacks of flour, so we better get going. Hey kids, it's me, Riley the Rifle. And me, Gary the Gun. Come join the Bulleteers. Hey, a full team of the Jay Garrick version of the Flash is on duty. Wait, that's it! The Bulleteers only attack on nights that the clock strikes! Metropolis, she wrote. I don't have to stand for this sarcasm, putting quotes around our name. Ah, this room looks easy to animate. Oh. Oh, why do they even have a single rider line if they're not going to fill every available seat? Turns out they're riding an actual bullet. The bulleteers are like an inch tall. They're just Lilliputians. The original rocket rods was far more impressive. Sure is handy we found this fully working hideout under Wade Manor, boss. Searchlights? I thought this was Paramount, not Fox. The bullet hit! Hey, why do you get to have the title line, Terry? Oh, Larry boy. Where we're going, we don't need roads full of cops shooting at us. Yeah, I drive my car with a microscope. What of it? It cost them 53 bucks a minute to use the wings. Whoa, bullet car had a few too many. So their evil scheme is just firing a missile, except one they have to ride in, rendering it less effective than a normal missile. Boy, Fleischer Studios loved animating gauges. Are they hijacking the Billion Dollar Limited again? And slide into first. Meanwhile, across from Rick's Cafe... When did the Daily Planet hire Paul Revere? Suck it, Clark. I hope I ran over your foot. This looks like a job for Superman. Actually, it's too dark to look like much of anything right now. All right, I hope there's another dinosaur this time. My big-ass diesel punk car ought to stop them. I let you hit those other buildings, but now you're going after money. I have to defend the American way, specifically capitalism. And now rehearsals for Dick Tracy the Musical. Beep, beep, get off the road. For crying out loud, Lois, stop parking in the red zone. Oh, Lois is just waking up. The debris put her to sleep like a bird. Nice of the cartoon to do its own Rule 34. I've got super speed, but crawling slowly is more fun. Surrender Dorothy? Oh no, gravity decided to work on him. That wasn't the bullet car. Superman misjudged his landing and broke everything. Hey, it's Lois Ferratu. Oh, it's been like a week since I've climbed into anything dangerous. I'm itching for a fix. Gasp! The bad guys are in the place that the bad guys were last seen. Psh, my plane's way better than this one. Oh crap, it's a Spirit Airlines flight. Run, Lois! Giant frozen cheese blocks, my only weakness. I know I dropped my AirPods somewhere. Hey, there's a girl stuck in the window. Come here, honey, let's find your parents and get you home. There's a Superman on the wing of the plane. 
That's a really clean retraction considering the damage done to the wing. I can't do this all on my own. Wait, yes I can, I am Superman. I'll open a pop top and blow out your flip flop. Time for that Jolly Juggler Bulleteer. Three at once. Hey, there's stuff happening in the shot of the ground this time. So the bullet car can survive crashing through several buildings, but it's no match for a prairie. Nice going, Lois. Another great scoop for you. It was easy. Thanks to Superman. And I guess thanks to the Bulleteers, too, couldn't have reported on their crime without the crime. Superman will return in the Mulleteers, where he faces off against a young Billy Ray Cyrus. Paramount. We're the mountaintop. We're the goddamn Statue of Liberty. Ready. Up in the sky, look! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! But he looks different. Did they recast him again already? So, Super, the man of fate. This logo works because the word magnetic always invokes lightning, and the word telescope invokes a wooden sign on a treehouse built by the little rascals. Well, I don't know about you, but I only read Superman magazines for the articles. M4 Ron, is that the precursor to Megan? And is that the same Thomas More who wrote Last Rose of Summer? Faster than a speeding bullet. Smarter than the average bear. Come on, Cal, I'll do the locomotion. Weird they built a skyscraper in the middle of a public park, but... The Man of Steel... Superman! Possessing remarkable physical strength... Not necessarily strong strength, just a level of strength that's worthy of remark. ...disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. We ran out of narration before music, so it's all you, Timberg. Okay, you can have one more, but this is the final frontier. Starlight, star bright, let me zap you with the beam tonight. Pride Rock is in Metropolis? Oh god, it's a D.W. Griffith film shoot! Everybody run! All these people are waiting to get their virtual cues for Runaway Railway. What do you think of the professor's show now? Now that they've added his and Marianne's names to the opening credits? Oh no, it's one of the fireballs from Chip's challenge. Honestly, the damage is shockingly minimal for an actual star bouncing down the road. I am impressed with the Daily Planet photographer's ability to get a snapshot of the exact moment of contact. And I realize, gentlemen, that the safety of the public is of special import to you. Dr. Venture? Almost as important to you as my ambitions are to me. But you request that I give up my experiments, experiments which are the culmination of 30 years of dreaming and planning is impossible. Tonight, those dreams will become real. And the legends were real, and they became men. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. It will be brought to within a mile of us. Then, after a close examination, I'll send it back again into space. Your tampering with nature endangers thousands of lives. Yes, and even at the possible cost of those lives, I shall continue my experiment. This is just footage of the latest Tesla board meeting. prepared to stop you, and I warn you, sir, any interference may prove that... Side eye and sashay away. Stop. We're stopping you, just like we said we were prepared to do. Ah, but the scientist has outwitted them with closing up a department store technology. Now to forward this comet to ten friends for good luck. And two seconds of rest for the animators, and... Spin the observatory! So it's not so much a magnetic telescope as a telescope that comes with a magnet. They're breaking down the killer dynamo's door? But what about Glenn and Mark Bell? That might be too deep a Homestar reference even for me. Take that, metallic vampire! Listen to me, you meddling fools! And your mangy dog! Without that power, the comet is out of my control! Ah, uh, it's a real Walter Peck situation up in here. Stop! Do you hear? They don't, because the generator also powered your PA system, buddy. Ah, two Christmas ornaments crashed into each other! 
Ah, Fantasyland doesn't let you pull the sword from the stone anymore. And Rodney realizes he's late to the Love Muffin pageant of evil. Boy, I gotta use comets for remodeling more often. The Keystone Cops versus the Keystone Comets. Well, I could safely escape, but why break old habits? Sometimes I regret having Jimmy Olsen put down. City editor. And part-time Redditor. Look, Chief. The panic's on. The thing's gone haywire. Ah, those curtains went, so now I can't. Lois, what happened? Well, this is a job for Superman. Or for Clark Kent to just take a leisurely Uber. Sorry, I gotta pee, so I'll run out the passenger side for some reason. Okay, now this is a job for Superman to give my driver only half a star. I know this hole anywhere. The Kool-Aid man's been here. Superman. Are you all right? Yes, for the moment. Good enough for me. You're on your own now, Lois. Well, while I'm here, I might as well look into the Nickelodeon to watch this old W.C. Field short. Batter up, up, and away! Not the only time in recent years Superman's trajectory has been completely thrown off course by The Rock. Oh god, that's obscene! It turned the car into a different drawing! No, our five dollar footlongs! No, the billion dollar limited! And isn't that the same bridge the other scientists destroyed in the first short? This is just the greatest hits of super destruction. Okay, I'm awake! Stop pelting me with rocks! No, doing the exact same thing twice didn't work. This is the best way to get a face tan. Ugh, who framed this shot? Now how is that skylight not broken already? Well, looks like the only thing I have to do is just clean up the mess the cops made. Anyway, this seems like a perfect place for a tetherball court. Da, 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 da. Oh, the cheat's throwing a light switch, Rabe. There, that's not too deep a home star cut. Miss Lane, the control. But I've never driven a stick shift telescope before. Boy, it's a real intense tug of war between this magnet and gravity. Philo's checking if his interocitor can withstand a sudden charge of 60,000 volts. I feel like it should be bigger news that when fully powered, this magnet is stronger than Superman. Oh, Superman, you were wonderful. <laughs> You're pretty wonderful yourself. Oh. Okay, is it creepier that it really is him or creepier that she thinks it isn't? Superman. Superman will return and maybe actually confront the scientists responsible for all this destruction. Paramount, do we own Pluto TV too? Even we're not quite sure. Up in the sky, look! It's a bird! Nice try, I'm not falling for that again. Yes, Superman, the man with all the powers of a building super. He will receive your call to repair the dishwasher, then three days later pop in and blame your detergent. Electric Earthquake, as featured in the recent Disney Plus series Muppets Earthquake. Oh, come on, who broke the credits? It was difficult to make this arrangement after Action Comics and Superman Magazine's contentious divorce. It's going down. I'm Sammy Timberg. You'd better move. You'd better dance. Faster than a speeding bullet. They really got ahead of that Matrix bit. Trains and guns, the only things that worked at opening day Diz. Hang on, we've already done this bit. Superman can only be summoned via welding. Superman! Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. He looks so pissed because as a reporter, he was just unverified on Twitter. Now it's always once upon a time in New York City. 
yes, the city, home of the world's greatest establishing shots. Meanwhile, at the old Huntington Beach Rubies. Hey, I don't see any newt playing flute or carp playing harp. Uh-oh, it's Voyage to the Iron Reef. Keep an eye out for any crabs the size of a cow. Ah, if only the guy from Double Indemnity was here to tell me about the man-made miracle that is these rubber hoses. Well, this tea's been steeping long enough. Inspector Gadget? Those stairs lead to the Onceler's office. Boingy, boingy, boingy. Soon budget cuts will have them down to the weekly planet, or the monthly, or just occasionally planet. And I still say Manhattan rightfully belongs to my people. Oh boy. But just what do you expect us to do about it? You have a newspaper? Publish the truth. Have the island vacated immediately. It's fantastic. Why, that's ridiculous. Ridiculous? Maybe modern science will make you think differently. Well, this is the first Superman villain I'm rooting for, so that's something. I've never heard anything so absurd. You know, from the look in his eyes, I'd almost believe he was in earnest. No, he's just a harmless crank. His people literally built the Empire State Building. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. So a villain in a superhero story whose viewpoint is correct, but whose methods go too far. Eh, I can't imagine anyone will ever try that again. Bum ba da ba Oh my god, she has a reflection? This whole time I thought Lois was a vampire. Come ahead, Miss Lane. You wouldn't want to miss this story, I'm sure. Well, I guess this depiction is not quite as racist as other cartoons. There's no turning back now. Has Atlantis been under Manhattan this whole time? You'd think someone would have noticed. Also, not the main issue, but these cartoons just take place in regular old Manhattan now? The secret lab has a spectator chair. That's preparation. Well, at least they're painting him as far more polite to Lois than the villains usually are. Oh, God damn it! Just a precautionary measure. Unnecessarily restrictive seating? What is this, Universal Studios? My God, he stole the decorative organ from an old-timey movie house! Now to begin his Captain Nemo impression. It's time for some gauge porn! Well, somebody splurged at Savi's workshop. Man, interocitors come in the craziest shapes these days. And set the built-in egg timer. Why is the periscope Mary Poppins' umbrella handle? Good thing I got the DTV converter on this old set. Yeah, when does this get interesting? Miss Lane, get ready for the greatest story of your career. Do all the bad guys have a manual on how to act when Lois stops by? Oh no, he's bug zapping Manhattan. One little spark is racing along the ocean floor. Dun da 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 da. Boy, the Fleischers hated bridges. Ooh, the building's less rubbery than it used to be. Come on, Kent. Let's get out of here. But why? Eh, been there. This looks like a job for Superman. So I'll just take my jacket off more casually than Mr. Rogers. The end. This time, rubble only stopped me for a few seconds. Ugh, buildings being destroyed in Manhattan. How many different ways can a cartoon age poorly? Pinocchio! You'd think the underwater wires would have electrocuted someone by now. Well, whenever there's wire and explosives, the only thing to do is start yanking randomly. Ugh. 
Oof, right in the Super Bowls. Okay, that cable did that on purpose. Happy New Year! Pull the poppers! Oh, this is why you always click eject before unplugging an external hard drive. Oh yeah, that's gonna take some industrial strength sealant there. That's a real gradual waterboard. Oh, that's why you always check the wattage on your bulbs. Everything's blowing up and the power's going haywire, but the elevator still works. Yeah, well, this sucks. Restrained and wet, it is Universal Studios. Superman, slightly stronger than a vacuum. Yeah, I can fly, but climbing's more fun. Uh, uh, a girl is still down there. A girl? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I gotta go see myself a girl. And with Superman out of the way, he can jumpstart a car. Then he closes and reopens the box, and the dynamite is replaced by a beautiful assistant. Guess I could have saved time by not escaping this hole. I have nothing to say to you, Lois. He just wants to blow up his lab before it can be taken over by Gyro Gear Loose. This was an even odder than usual episode of Sea Lab 2021. Well, lifting a villain from below is a change of pace. And now we're just starting newsies. Well, except for all the buildings that were already damaged, but hey. Oh, it's a time lapse from rough sketch to finished art. You no, know, Lois, the old island looks just as good as ever. Clark, you're facing Jersey. Thanks to Superman. Superman will return and continue to uphold the status quo because that's the American way. Paramount, while you weren't looking, we just greenlit eight more Star Trek shows and a Galaxy Quest. And he's assuring us that this cartoon won't be as racist as last month's. Superman in Technicolor, demonstrated here with letters so bright the color differences are barely perceptible. Ground, she's moving under me, tidal waves out on the sea, sulfur smoke up in the sky. Pretty soon we learn to leave tall buildings in a single bound. Willard Bowski, he's gotta be one of the Cooper kids, right? Look, sometimes you want more, but you know you ought a fewer. Faster than a speeding bullet. Hotter than a volcano. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to soar higher than any plane. Eight episodes in, and the credits finally realized he can fly instead of jump. The man of steel, Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Yeah, except Discovered for last time when he fought on the side of the oppressor, but... Clark Kent. Bali High? On this peaceful island crowned by the great volcano Mount Monacoa. Oh good, another travelogue in a Superman short. Well, I hope this one also has a dinosaur. ...the beautiful city beneath it in molten lava and creating destructive tidal waves that raced around the world. It's Krakatoa meets Pompeii in the wackiest mashup of all. A new and more beautiful city sprang up at its base. It burned down, fell over, and sank now, into the swamp. After centuries of inactivity, slight tremors are being felt. Slight tremors. It's just the direct-to-video sequels. Meteorology, a group of scientists watchfully check delicate instruments to determine the seriousness of this renewed activity. Because the geologists who should be studying this are all on vacation. Oh no, the volcano's active! Quick, we need Tom Hanks and three Meg Ryans! Oddly enough, the disturbance was recorded with the glockenspiel. The volcano's causing it to slowly rain newspapers from the sky! Oh sure, Mount Monacoa trying to make me feel bad about lying on the couch eating chips and binging Frasier. Oh good, the US is getting involved. That always ends well. Why did the article include the reporter's awkward yearbook photos? And I want you to send me some real stories. Like now, 80 for Brady. Steamship tickets, and here are your press passes. You'll need these down there. Goodbye, good luck, and for Pete's sake, see if you two can work together for a change. Lois, right if you put change. another live snake in Clark's gym bag, I swear to God. 
Boy, the Queen Mary is mad. Whoa, juxtaposing the steamship smoke with the volcano smoke. It's like we're the real volcanoes, man. Look, the Skyway is not the most immersively themed ride, but it's cool to go through the inside of the Matterhorn. We'll stop them commies from stealing our volcano. I hate that the only clean outfit I had was my Sunday school dress. Hmm, that's funny. Say, Lois, do you have my press pass? What makes you think I've got it? Because I can see inside Sorry, your sir, bag. You'll have to get one down at headquarters. Thanks. Uh, you go on ahead, Lois, and I'll join you later. Now, what did I do with that? Poor Clark. Too bad he lost his pass. So she's straight up sabotaging him now. Lois and Clark hate each other more than the Lockhorns. Uh, did the clouds swallow them? And from all indications, we can expect things to start popping at any time. Hope you like Orville Rettenbacher. To save the city, we've decided to blast the higher rim of the crater, thereby diverting the flow of lava away from the city and into the ocean below. So we'll just leave it for Aquaman to deal with. Is the chief in? I'd like to see him about a press pass. He'll be back shortly. He'll be at an even taller desk so you feel real emasculated. Ah, Marty's using Doc's amp. Okay, but where's the tall, skinny lady volcano it sings to? Wait here. Yes, hold all Hello? calls for Colonel Mustard. Set up that car. Hello? Oh, it just stopped because Eisner and Mickey are introducing Hello? Mary Poppins. Miss Lane. I warned them against dumping a silo of baking soda into a lake of vinegar. Oh, that's why meteorologists studied it, because the volcano's shooting meteors. I need a Baja Blast! It's urgent! Oh no, these extras from a Tintin comic are stuck out of luck. Look out! Oh, Miss Lane, this way! Uh, should I still go that way? Oh, he's doing sad Keanu. High stakes, hopscotch. That's a spicy meatball. Boys. Great super hearing, Clark. No witnesses, I could let her burn. This looks like a job for Superman. Here, I'll go out and change right by the front door where anyone can see me. Boy, Discovery Zone has gotten intense. The death of Pride Rock. I'm king of the hell. Paramount gave that rock's grandkid the role in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah, that boulder was a Nepo pebble. And the city doesn't get crushed by a boulder, but it does drown in a tidal wave. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die pretending I'm on the monkey bars. Oh, it's all right, everyone. The lava's just gonna destroy a Thomas Kincaid painting. In Technicolor! Boy, this grown-up reboot of Legends of the Hidden Temple really raises the stakes. Well, I can't shake the feeling I dropped my keys. Ah, crap, this looks so secure. When visiting the volcano, enjoy the city. I'm oh, sure you heard that. <laughs> okay, I guess she's safe on this ledge. What the? That lava just hit her in the head! I'm gonna save this rock! But not that one. So we just won't worry about the lava that already made it through the rock dam? Here, Lois, board this ship. You'll be safe on the, uh, Titanic. I'm not going back to Metropolis without seeing the other side of the island. Da 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 deja vu. Oh, they're draining for lava treatment, so Grizzly Lava Run's gonna be closed for about a month. And the entire ecosystem of this side of the island is destroyed forever, but at least a couple of people weren't burned to death. Meanwhile, back in Anything Goes... Lava, exciting and new. How's the story coming, Lois? Oh, fine, Clark. Too bad you weren't in on it. Maybe I would have been. 
if I hadn't lost my pass. I lost my pass so I can't see the volcano. A bad day at Disney Sea. Superman will return in the quest for a briefcase with a lock that Lois can't steal crap from. Paramount, for months we filled our streaming service with ads for a Grease prequel only to erase it from existence. What is wrong with us? Up in the sky! Look! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Whenever these Metropolis crowds are just staring up in the sky, that's when the pickpockets come out to play. Oh, this year Oogie Boogie Bash is giving a Halloween overlay to Midway Mania. Jim Davis? So we're gonna get a Superman who hates Mondays? The amazing storyboarding duo of Morton and Gordon! Yeah, enjoy seeing Dave Fleischer's name while it lasts. Faster than a speeding bullet! More powerful than a locomotive! Yeah, but more powerful than a 260 is a low bar, according to the train expert I know. Thanks, Ashley. Borrowing Doctor Strange's portal to make his appearance. Remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never ending battle. Never ending battle. Mild mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. Really? You should know all of this by now. Ah, we're starting off this short in the depths of hell. So, is Superman going to save the boys from Pleasure Island or what? All right, folks, only a time. One tenth of a dollar. The Sailor Man business has been slow, so Popeye has to take a side gig as a carnival barker. Monkey Bone? Sorry, old fellow. Fine thing. Ace Newspaper Woman scares monkey. Mm, Ace Newspaper Woman reviews circus. I don't need to take this. I'm the goddamn marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Um, too bad, Lois. Looks like a great night for a murder or fire. Don't tempt me, Clark. Step right up for the murder fire. Todd Browning is filming in the next tent over. Help! I can't get out of the stupid costume! This monkey does all the fake studio audience applause for Bill Maher. Why are the circus staff dressed like Nazis? For its own safety, keep this monkey away from bad dates. It's a long pull string. Must be an extra chatty Kathy. Actual footage of Smeagol finding the ring. I don't like this version of Mystic Manor. Behold, the conga line of depressed elephants. What is it, boy? Timmy stuck in the well? Oh, I am baked out of my gourd right now. Russell from Up, Little Lulu, and Vault Boy. Ha <laughs> cruelty to animals is hilarious. So everything's just happening at once. Pretty unfocused show. P.T. Barnum, I've come to bargain. Gorilla Man, the animated series. And Dick Grayson's parents die in the chaos. Oh, I gotta get closer to this action. Why are her eyes scarier than the gorilla? It's Gorillaverse Travels. Quick, we still gotta mock the big-eared kid. Whoa, they leak gigantic? I thought Disney scrapped that before production. Come on down to the primate chiropractor. Trust us, it feels better than it looks. It's high time you learn to tie your own shoes, young man. Nice, you picked up the spare. It actually is raining men. I want animal crackers! Soundtrack performed by rubbing a trombone on a cello. Clark, it's like 10 p.m. Shouldn't you have headed home? Off-camera police cars. Time to solve the mystery of the dwindling animation budget. Get going, Joe. Let's see what's cooking. Quick, let's go back to the place I just came from. Yeah, we're in danger, but this is going to be dynamite for my Instagram engagement. I knew I should have time left at Albuquerque. Oh 
my god, the gorilla's wearing that weird duck costume! Faster than a speeding gorilla! And safe! Shouldn't this little girl be in the hospital with Curious George? I am warning you, I'll protect this wall with my life! Oh, we're saved! It's the same cop eight times! I could have flown here, but taking the cab allowed time for some real chaos. Run! It was a mistake to hit the big boss for a raise! Ooh, he's flying the elephant like a kite. I want to turn. Me, me. So these shorts went from inspiring Godzilla to cribbing from King Kong. Let's hope we get a Mothra connection soon. Yeah, it's not like you could have used your super strength there. Okay, now who's shooting? What's going on here? This is a job for Superman. You are the round egg. Oh, the Panthers of Restore the Snyderverse guy upset at the new casting. Now you go in there and think about what you've done, young man. Okay, pick a size and stick with it, gorilla. Ah, no trademark infringement here. Super Dan, you'll in the lion's den. Yeah, Supes, just toss that elephant anywhere. It's cool. Which way did he go, George? Which way did he go? And the lion gets away and starts a new life in Belize with that vulture from the first cartoon. And now Superman and the gorilla will make sweet, sweet love. This is the danger of leaving Christmas lights up. Oh yeah, still think it's going to be a great night for a fire, Clark? That rope went up in flames faster than the Flash's box office. That's Metropolis's ass. Really lingering, huh? Well, we're back in the depths of hell. That didn't take long. Dan Hedaya? Ah, go back to drawing him with closed eyes, please! And the punch shrank the gorilla down to the size of Tor Johnson. I knew that class on fishing for gorillas would come in handy. If a tree falls in a circus and a gorilla's around to hear it... Okay, don't look, Lois. I gotta piss this fire out. Lucky Lois. Logan Lucky Lois. Gets her story. And luckily, she lives to write it. Thanks to Superman. Shut up and stop wasting film, Clark. Superman will return, even though the Fleischers won't. Paramount. The Barbie movie didn't license that many clips from us, but still more than you expected. Famous Studios. It's always been famous. I've never heard of Max and Dave. A showdown? Going downtown? You're gonna mess around? And yes, we're skipping the first Famous Studio short because even the title is too racist for me. There's gonna be a couple from the Famous era we'll skip for racism reasons. Faster than a streak of lightning! More powerful than the pounding surf! Guess the Fleischers got the speeding bullet and locomotive in the divorce. This amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the Man of Steel, Superman! We can reuse still images from the previous era, that's all right. Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. A man with a sailboat in his jacket pocket. I'm sorry, we don't have a pulse. Yes, this is definitely the real Superman, knocking a guy slightly unconscious instead of just ripping the safe apart with his bare hands. There's a run on this bank because Dick Van Dyke took a kid's tuppence. 
Before Jimmy got into sandwiches, he and his bro had a different dream. Meanwhile, at Edward G. Robinson's private putt-putt course, Stupid. Hey, well, hello, stupid to you, too. Come on, come on, hand it over. It was Alfred E. Newman the whole time? Oh, for me, I didn't know you felt that way. This is a swell racket, boss. And the Superman outfit, it works like a charm. You've been moonlighting at Jumbo's clown room again. Gee, boss, it was only a fin. Next time, it'll be a Mickey Finn. That's right, I'm gonna have you steal Disney dollars. So nobody noticed that it wasn't Superman's face. Why is Clark even bothering with the glasses? Superman against his fiercest enemy, Joe Friday. Oh, actually, that article's just about how Shelly refused to go to Stacy's birthday party. She said she was gonna be out of town, but then they all saw her at the skating rink hanging out with Susie instead. Hey, you two. The editor wants you to cover the opera tonight. Where the hell did you come from? And don't forget, it's formal. Jimmy Olsen is really turned on by the idea of other people wearing fancy clothes at an event he won't attend. Bertie Wooster and Tuppy Glossop are asleep in the next box over. A night at the opera is less zany than I remember. An entire theater audience made up of Statlers and Waldorfs. Oh no, John Wilkes Booth! Here's Johnny? Young Queen Elizabeth? Well, she can't feel when she's using her opera glasses, everyone knows that. Don't mind me, just checking your heartbeat. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh! I just remembered I hate this opera! It is Superman. Only he wears clothes this flimsy. So, Lois, the person who knows Superman's physique better than anybody, is fooled by this lanky dork. My double's in for some trouble. Or whatever Team Rocket says. Okay, but they think it is Superman, so they're covering the ground to trap the guy who can fly away? Ooh, they're gonna do the duck soup mirror gag. Does this guy really not know bullets don't work on Superman? I don't think he put a lot of research into this role. Not exactly a method actor. Now wait a minute, Mr. Superman. You got me all wrong. It ain't me. Honest, it ain't me. It's I ain't no senator's son. Oh, take it easy, will you, Mr. Superman? Give me a chest. I'll come clean. I'll talk. Honest, I'll talk. Oh, don't touch me. Look up in the sky. Neither of those are birds, Debbie. I knew there was more to this story. Not much more for me to do in this story, but hey. Come on, men, let's drive in a random direction. He loves me, he loves me not. All right, kid, this is your house. I'm gonna have a word with your mother. Well, did you enjoy the opera? Well, I fell asleep, but... Oh, I mean, grrr! What's the matter, stupid? Did you lose your tongue? And gain about three feet of height? Don't stand there like a dummy. Give me the jewels. Are you trying to double-cross me? Why, you... Hey, boss, that's Mr. Superman. Sorry I didn't mention earlier that I was bringing company. I uh, didn't expect to see you here. Ah, take that. You're susceptible to gravity, right? Oh, right, I forgot. In these cartoons, he can only fly when the animators feel like it. The desk is rattling around like a TV drawn by Bill Watterson. Oh, I don't care about me, but if this lamp gets hurt, I'll never forgive myself. 
Hey, uh, sorry I killed your Rancor. Whoa, Electroshock! Give me more, I'm into it. Meanwhile, in a cartoon based on Cask of Amontillado... Hey, is Snow White's stepmother around? Superman, possessing remarkably inconsistent strength. Come on, hurry up. Let me in, da da da. All right, now I for one have been craving in and out, but if the drive through line's too long, I'm parking and sending you in for it. And they run Doctor Strange off the road. Ah, didn't turn off their blowtorch? Such a waste of power. Their hideout is a sensible suburban split level? And Cary Grant crashes into them after being drugged by James Mason? Everyone knows cars are lighter than doors. Uh, next time you play Superman. I want to be Goku next time. Boy, have I got a story. What's the matter, Bright Eyes? The opera get you down? Uh, yes, I've been dreaming I was Superman. Dreaming about being Superman might be even more pathetic when you actually are. Well, I can dream, can I? At Boner. Superman will return in something that allows me to reference a third Marx Brothers movie. Paramount, we're bringing back Good Burger and Frasier, and we're going to make them fight to the death. Up in the sky, look! Wow, just spitting in the face of Adam McKay. A famous studio, but we won't tell you which one, but trust us, it's famous. Ugh, I'm tired of all this big corporate destruction. Support your local destruction LLC. Morton, this one might be too salty. Faster than a streak of lightning! Zeus versus Superman. More powerful than the pounding surf. Part of your world. Mightier than a roaring hurricane. Weird, because Superman's the hero who isn't in a Florida theme park. The amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman. Merry Christmas. Possessing Wait. Remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter. Fighting for truth while lying about his identity. The flute really sells it. Damn it, the mystery machine's out of gas again. Okay, but if you look the other way, you'll see everyone dining at the Blue Bayou. Oh my god, someone killed Jim Henson and stole Kermit off his hand! That'll teach you for overselling how many songs there are about rainbows. Flash! Ah, oh, savior of the universe! The body of an elderly man has just been found in the marsh flats outside the city. He has been identified as the watchman at the Metropolis Munitions Plant. Flash and Watchman? Too many DC characters. Ah, the love child of Howdy Doody and Lampwick. Huh, sounds like there might be a story at the plant, Lois. Lois? Me name is Lois, not Lois. Gee whiz, everybody in Toy Palace me name wrong. Who's everybody? I think you wandered into the wrong cartoon, pal. I, S, yes. Lois, er, uh, Louise, er, uh, Lucy. Now I'm so mixed up, I don't know who I am. Well, neither do we. No, oh, these shorts are going to be repackaged as House of Munitions. Superman couldn't come here because he's Kal-El, not Personnel. Okay, Watchman. Take your post in the main shop, and be on the alert. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Even Superman's getting Stan Lee cameos? Oh, pardon me. Colonel Sanders, patrolman. Welcome to the industry montage. Please enjoy pulse-pounding music and silhouettes of workers doing things. All of this to make one M&M. Here at the Department of Polishing Phallic Objects, we don't worry we might be repressing anything. It's very important that the rockets are shined before we launch them. 
Okay, do all these Superman cartoons from here on have Edward G. Robinson? Report upstairs, 12 o'clock. Very important. My mouth moves weird. It's very important. Lois the Riveter. I wonder what the big shot was. This does not seem like the best angle for a security camera. Well, I guess I live here now. Might as well get comfortable. Raymond Burr? That was a good job you did on the Watchman last night. Man, go set a Watchman is a real departure from To Kill a Mockingbird. It's wired to the switch on the plant floor below. God, these animators love their shadows more than Peter Pan. Oh no, my very easily blown cover was blown! Get that girl. Why did we even hire her to be our only non-mobster employee? Ugh, chase downstairs, up ladders, I feel like I'm playing Donkey Kong here. Acrobat Lois is back, baby. Oh boy, I've always wanted a reason to climb this ladder. Damn it, are we back at the circus? And Bruce Wayne gets an idea for a secret passage on Earth-66. Early movie audiences thought this guy would really run them over. This guy, too. Looks like I'm gonna have to jump! I swear I was safe. Where's the umpire? Oh, they're gonna send her to the Genesis planet. Commissioner Gordon, this is way out of Gotham's jurisdiction. Right, in the dynamite. Uh, a second non-mobster employee? Okay, fair. That's on us now. I can't take this kind of pressure. No, they killed Mr. McFeely. Never thought of stuffing TNT into a condom. There, the problem went away. Jones speaking. Indy went down a dark road, I tell you. Send out the torpedo immediately. Immediately. Wah, 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 wacky torpedo music! How long are they gonna need that sign to be there? Here comes the torpedo now. Thanks, American Jim Broadbent. This is an extreme game of battleship. Purposes, there is no explosive in the torpedo. No, I'm sure that guy's really dead. The metal beams just have an itch. Ah, the final shot of North by Northwest. Hmm, well, I'm not sure who this looks like a job for, but I'm here anyway. Okay, stand by. Ready? Uh, it's okay. It happens to a lot of torpedoes. This is the part where we blow up! Not today! And he drops it, killing Lois and the spectators. Damn it, I knew I should have kept the blinds closed. Miss Lane. Miss Lane. Are you all right? Also, are we on a first-name basis yet? They're about to blow up the plant. Hurry, throw that switch. Docs can't go to sleep without their nightlights. Whee! Ah, yes, now we watch them dance. Wow, fake Raymond Burr ran far. Explosives? This changes everything! This plan seems good. Yeah, back when cable channels could afford to advertise on trucks. Superman! That's your name! It was right on the tip of my tongue! Strike! You will conquer your fear of the dark and like it! Uh, couldn't you just pick the truck up? I mean, it's better than moving the train track that was leading up to it, I guess. Some days, you just can't get rid of a dynamite. Wow, whoever was driving that truck should be arrested. Anyway, I gotta put on two layers of clothes real quick. This is what the overflow queue for web slingers feels like. Well, Pa, 
Bob, Superman put an end to their little act, and this puts an end to yours, Clark Kent. I knew it was you right away. I can see through any disguise. By the way, have you seen Superman anywhere? Superman will return in Destruction University. Paramount, how many screams and paranormal activities would you like to watch this month? Why did they draw it to be day for night? It's da 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 Did the music just stutter? Well, I stand with the mummy and refuse to cross the mummy picket line. Ah, my favorite publishing company, Siegel & Schuster. Never noticed, but Timberg sounds like one of those fake American names from that baseball video game. Maybe this is the Mummy Strikes Out. Mummy's playing baseball, let's twilight this crap. Faster than a streak of lightning! The lightning strikes like the mummy will! More powerful than the pounding surf! Yeah, but has Brian Wilson written a song about you? Mightier than a roaring hurricane! These trees are gonna get replanted in Seuss Landing. This amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the Man of Steel! Superman! His cape stopped moving when the Fleischers left. Remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter... A mild-mummied reporter. Yeah! Sorry about that, it was just some leftover fire from the circus cartoon. Our story begins inside a cheesecake factory. Put in the crypt in Kryptonian. This wall promoted Tomb of the Dragon Emperor for years. One of the top men cracked open the crate. Oops, Snow White just ate the apple. Dr. Jordan? Dr. Jordan Peterson? Jordan. Oh no, he milked himself to death while eating a truck of meat. Daily Planet, King of the Slow News Days. Oh no, what will the rest of the Hogan family think? You deny poisoning Dr. Jordan, yet you admit these fingerprints are yours. Yes, but... That's just Lois wearing glasses. How does she not recognize Clark? Oh, sounds like Hogan needs a hero. Clark, it's not the phone, it's the smoke alarm. That fire in the first shot set it off. Dr. Wilson of the Egyptian Museum. Dr. Wade was busy with the house call. May free Miss Hogan. Yes, Doctor. Uh, I, I've been feeling much better lately, but... Okay, I'll buddy be Ryan. I'll see you later, Lois. Doctor's orders. Doctor's ADR. Doctor, my eye. Lois, after what you pulled at the volcano, can you blame him for this? After his riddle was solved, the Sphinx retired and works two days a week as a museum docent. All right, Moon Knight crossover. Dr. Jordan was the world's foremost student of hieroglyphics. Wait, that's just the disguise Clark wore last time. Back by him, even the mummy of King Tush. King Tush. They didn't want to get sued by King Tut. I uncovered this ancient Egyptian tablet and find it to be a secret curse of the tomb of King Tush. Funky Tush. He who disturbs the eternal sleep of King Tush shall perish. This tablet may well be Miss Hogan's passport to freedom. Oh, good. Superstition always overturns evidence. Doo-loo-loo, Inspector Lois. Not to be confused with Coma Cat, Metropolis's top pet salon. So this is the part where the gangster dies and our original tour guide comes back? Over 3,000 years ago, the valley of the Upper Nile was ruled by an old and powerful king. Don't get me started on the Upper Fraser. The Lower Nile for many years, and just before the old king died, he called his son to him, the young boy of 12. Tino Tonatini. He commanded his giant guards to wear an oath of eternal allegiance to the boy prince. So no story behind the giant guards, huh? In this world and the next. Shortly after, the old king died. And this is how Tannis T was discovered. Now ruled the kingdom of ten million people. Including Yul Brenner and Jason Mantzoukas. ...for such responsibility, and being of a sickly nature, soon became ill himself. He was always sick, but he had to become ill. ...attended more faithfully than this youth. 
you can actually watch the budget shrinking the longer we stare at these hieroglyphics. Each of the royal gods drank poison. Also, they really like poison. Continue to protect the spirit of their young king in the valley of the dead. Until Prince Alexander challenged death for the king's soul and brought him back to life. Thrill as we watch someone eavesdrop on an after hours museum tour. In the catacombs, Dr. Jordan has reconstructed the burial vault exactly as he first discovered it in one of the pyramids. I hate that this fake museum has better theming than any theme park with Superman. He finally duplicated an ancient mystic formula. Baja Blast. Called the fluid of life. I wouldn't call fire a fluid, but that's just me. Just before he was found dead, Dr. Jordan had inoculated each of the mummies of the giant guard. The short is where the anti-vaxxers get all their science. Life, but somehow the test failed. His resurrection test somehow failed? Dr. Jordan was found here at the feet of King Tush. King Tush, as in I'm gonna kick your tush. But what you don't know, Mr. Kent... Is how my glasses stay on my face. ...is that Dr. Jordan violated the ancient warning by attempting to open the coffin of King Tush. So did you try telling the police and not just a random newspaper reporter? Yeah, who knew pushing random buttons was risky? A poisonous needle. That's how Dr. Jordan was killed. Yes, and Miss Hogan is a free woman. Because now my fingerprints are on the murder weapon. Under wraps tonight on Disney Channel. Clovis looks like Ponyo. Again, great super hearing, Clark. Oh, that's why the science resurrection didn't work. He forgot the magic laser brooch. Little known fact, being raised from the dead removes your pupils. Oh, come on. Who tied me up? Was it you, Steve? You prankster. Oh, no. They drew this guard twice. Time to sing Elvis pastiche songs at Donny Osmond. The sarcophagus should have burped like in Beauty and the Beast. No, Clark Kent was never here. You just imagined him. Yeah, being crushed by pillars warrants a wah, 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 wah. Always pick sedate music for your giant mummy attack scene. You know, I'm just going to say it. I miss that weird Lewis guy. Yeah, it's one of those grill-it-yourself barbecue places. Lois, I warned you this would happen if you pretended to be a marshmallow. Hooray, they're defeated! Wait, how many guards are there? Did Superman just break the building with them? Now they're defeated? Was Lois crushed to death? What's happening? Sorry, the exposition ran long, so we gotta stop the episode short. Yes, lucky for you, I was hurt. Lois wasn't actually hurt, she just got inspired to cosplay a mummy. My mummy done told me. Lois needs typing lessons from Strong Bad. Superman will return, or he would if he had gotten his cup of coffee! Paramount. None of our films grossed a billion this year either, but you don't hear us whining about it, Disney. Famous Studios, you'll always be famous, because it's literally your name. Ooh, is Superman going to Fraggle Rock? I'm Action Comics, and I approve this arrangement. Well, I hope Morton's story is as good as his salt, or is The Steakhouse. Faster ah. than a streak of lightning. Faster than the music was cut off. More powerful than the pounding surf. Pride Rock is flooded. Now we miss Scar's drought. Mightier than a roaring hurricane. They keep replanting that palm tree only for it to get blown the away. Amazing stranger from the planet Krypton. But Winnie the, the Pooh taught me to be too smart for strangers from Krypton. Superman. Well, oh, the horn section's phoning it in today. Strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. And if he's dealing with the mummy, he'll spend most of his time as Clark Kent. 
Ah, the office of Armand White, where he carefully crafts his contrarian reviews. And while on a hunting... This guy again. Did he quit the Egypt Museum? ...now known as the Henderson Cavern. That's where Harry More came from. years ago, he mysteriously disappeared while exploring them further. He said he was just going for cigarettes. I found these maps and charts he left. Yeah, but where are the moon letters on this map? Wonders and mysteries lay beyond in this vast underground world. Now, if your paper will help finance the expedition, <sighs> I will take Miss Lane and Mr. Kent with me. And Perry is trying so hard to stay awake. Exclusive rights to the story. Sounds like a great story, Chief. I'd love to go. Well, he's a how to use classroom films kid. All right. It's really thought long and hard about Thanks, it, huh? Mr. White, we can leave immediately. One fake photo transition from my movie later. Now, this cave is directly under Wayne Manor, but I'm sure that won't be an issue. Careful now. Those are explosives for the... I got them from this checkoff guy, but I don't know if they'll come up later. We're shoving off, Kent. You're not invited. Forgot to tell you. So long, Clark. Okay, now they're being suspiciously friendly to each other. Strange Huckleberry Finn remake. Lois is Disney-bounding Snow White's maid outfit. And they take the Storybook Land Canal boat deep into Pirates of the Caribbean or the Calico Mine Train or Radiator Springs Racers or whatever dark ride these rocks look like they're from. The depths of hell? Or is it just the Mechanical Monsters Lab again? I mean, I can't see crap, but I assume it's beautiful. Whatever you just said is right. The Phantom of the Opera is here. Superman visits Howe Caverns. Hey, they're filming Doctor Who Revenge of the Cybermen over there. Runaway boat, or float away boat, I guess. The boat! You should have learned from Sam Gamgee and brought a bit of rope. Remember, Lois can fly a plane, can't park a boat. Oh, damn it, I missed my bus. Oh no, they're gonna do it. They're gonna go chasing that waterfall. Mike. Why didn't we unload that first? I'm Mike Fink, King of the River. Oh, I can never remember. Are those stalactites, stalagmites? It's going to be bugging me all day. Ow! Lowey! Lincoln Memorial? Wait, what? Did we miss a scene? Ah, the Santa Ana Parrots. Ah, Woody Harrelson from Freebirds. That's why the Egyptology professor is here, because he's dealing with Egyptian gods. Look at the statue above his head. Why, the resemblance is remarkable. No, it's just that this team can only draw a finite number of human faces. My father... But what would they be doing with a statue of him? Well, clearly they worshipped him as God, and you're going to be set free soon. Mrs. Henderson, you're supposed to present. Lois! Lois, did you steal my press pass again? Because if so, I'm leaving you for dead. Pocahontas just jumped off that waterfall. Sure, let's squeeze a backside of water joke in here, too. This is every theme park ride. So many Seuss rocks around Metropolis. Be honest, is my denim shirt too, Jay Leno? Henderson! Florence Henderson, you're needed on the Brady Bunch set! Lois! They fly now? Order in the court! So they got captured off camera by the tribe of a species that's never explained. Great economy of storytelling there. Ah, 
the Tiki Room birds really are going to make you disappear. You're being put into carbon freeze. I know it's a made-up species, but this still feels racist. This is a job for Superman. I guess I could sound a little more enthusiastic since I haven't said that in the past couple of shorts. Where was he keeping the cape? Debbie! Debbie, look! Birds! Huh? I wasn't listening. Check out this cool snail on the ground! Debbie! This is where the Haunted Mansion Ravens go during holiday. All right, then what did I stab? Marion, don't look at it, Marion. This is not how I expected a Superman Hawkman crossover to go. Less powerful than an above average bird claw. So, whenever any intruder comes along, they dip them in gold and turn them into a statue? Eh, still more welcoming than Six Flags. The heroics gently untying the ropes music. So, which of these bird people is friends with Rick Sanchez, and which of these bird men is going to be the attorney at law? They're on the hunt for Tippy Hedron. So, the boat full of explosions didn't cause that big a rock slide, but a single grenade can trap this entire ancient civilization. It's really a great story, Lois. Oh, I know I spent a lot of money funding this expedition, but now I'm just going to set the results on fire, rendering the whole thing worthless. I learned business from Elon Musk. Superman will return and hopefully explain what the hell was going on in this one. Paramount, will somebody buy us, please? Somebody who's not Warner Brothers? Anybody? Hello? Up in the sky, look! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Thanks, gang. I'm going to miss gathering around to look up in the sky and list things that fly. Not that secret if you're advertising on the side of the bag. Yeah, the arrangement was fun while it lasted, but these shorts are expensive, so let's just make little Lulu instead. Oh, I wish I was a Carl Meyer story. You may be seated. Faster than a streak of lightning. But not as fast as a streaker on Small World. More powerful than the pounding surf. But not as powerful as a skeet surfer. Mightier than a roaring hurricane. But not as mighty as Bob Dylan singing Hurricane. From the planet Krypton, the man of steel. Larry Boy? Superman! Damn it. Possessing remarkable physical strength. And possessed by Pazuzu. Never ending battle for truth and justice. Yes, it's never ending. Anyway, here's the final episode. But really, these cartoons are mostly about petty squabbles with Lois at the office. Our story begins with Doug Benson's weekly shopping. Hurry up, Clark. Maxwell Smart needs this phone booth. Now look here, Kent. You Is Perry White voiced by Dennis Day now? But Chief, but Chief, have you heard about Hugo and Kim? Slide into first. The irony is they were driving sober on their way to get drugs. Wait, if you're going to steal my car, I need to warn you the left blinker doesn't work. Take a left at Dutch Angle Boulevard. Dick Tracy's Crime Stoppers, The Ride. Wow, this is a sturdy rear member. The no-ghost guy was right. Those cars look like they're having fun, Bill. Let's join them. Clark spoons the car, one thing leads to another, and that's how Lightning McQueen was born. I see Spider-Man swinging overhead. Shoot him! Oh, good. Now the gun can be found by a small child. No, they took out the population of Strong Daddia! So the chasers pass the person they're chasing who stops the cops from chasing them? That was a close call. I've got to get to police headquarters immediately. So I can talk to someone other than myself. How did they knock Superman unconscious? Roderick Spode? I send you out to bring back that woman. Now who will I take to prom? You'd let her get away and bring me this fool. If you were efficient, you would bring me a whole chain of fools. You must be stopped. They are probably the largest and most ruthless gang of saboteurs in this country. I know. 
For six months, they thought I was one of them. Oh, Lois dyed her hair blonde and is finally turning in the rest of the Daily Planet crew. Her hatred of Clark pushed her too far. They will stop at nothing to recover these records. Police Captain Kangaroo. Washington. Mm, I understand. I'll see that you have an escort to the airport. Boy, they really fixed headquarters up after the Bulleteers incident. Why does one of the sirens just sound like Sam Kinison? Bridge to Airport Bithia. Let's see how the cops like it when we hide back here with the speed trap. Mr. Bullet's on my shoulder. Let me get out of this bulletproof car. The tragic death of Arthur Fonzarelli. Suckers, this was all an elaborate ruse to steal a police car. A bridge. Nothing bad happens to those in these cartoons. She's got flu. Evil Abbott and Costello are on the case. Quick. Control tower. That's where Maxwell Smart needed to get. Did she drive to Brisbane? <laughs> ah, that lever controlled a multiplane camera. Those pennies won't know what smashed them. Gives a whole new meaning to we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I forgot how to use the brakes. I don't know if that's proper push-up technique. All right, really got to draw this pose out. Dropping some sick beats. Oops, I pulled the glass breaking lever. You know what really grinds my gears? Are those the same wires the mechanical monster dropped their loot into? No, the falling tower destroyed my sense of the geography of the scene. Wish I could see over there. You making that noise, Locke? Why did they lock up a payphone? It's not moving forward, the wall is moving backward. Hello. She's trapped on the bridge. She's with Midge? What are you saying? Hello, Edridge. Hello, hello. Not one of Bob Newhart's better routines. Something went wrong. That downfall scene is lower key than I remember. Oof, man, this guy's heavier than a Kryptonian. All right, the grill's heating up. The burgers are almost ready. Death zipper. Always leave your unconscious captives behind two locked doors. Let's get one last bit of shadow play. Does this look like a job for anyone? Whatever, I said one line as Clark. That's all the dialogue I'm doing this time. Ugh, so impatient. Taking the stairs won't kill you. Buzz is battling Zerg in the shaft. So you guys feeling sushi, or...? Buzz is loose. Are the passengers on a most uncommon elevator? Oh boy, I got a big one on the line here. Zoom tight. What's all in there, too? Schmeiß die Wände ein. It's wicked! It's so wicked! The Oneaters are the champions! That was fun, but I wish I had more glass to destroy. Say! The bridge has rotated eight times by now. She's basically a waffle at this point. Meanwhile, on a Brio train set... She's pinned down by imperceptible contrast. Holy smoke, she's a tune! My god, it's full of stars! Superman! Barely stronger than a bridge! Oh, that's what happened to the burning cabin on Tom Sawyer's Island. So, you feeling sushi, or...? Oh, uh, thanks for taking me all the way to DC, I guess, but man, that was a waste of a plane ticket. This gender-swapped reboot of Mr. Smith Goes to Washington is weird. Ending a superhero movie with the flag feels hollow without New Yorkers yelling about messing with all of us. Superman will return in an endless stream of reboots produced by a different studio. 